Today we're going to talk about cancel culture. <laughs> I haven't really wanted to touch on this issue because I'm personally afraid of getting canceled. But this is actually something that I really, really care about, something that I try to incorporate into my activism, and something that I feel like it's valuable to talk about. People shouldn't have to live knowing that the mistakes of their past are going to come back and haunt them. People should be able to take accountability, ask for forgiveness, and move on with their lives. We are all human. We all make mistakes. And we all do bad things. Obviously, some things are worse than others. For example, the law says that it's totally okay for people to eat animal products. And I believe that one day people will look back on us and think those people were absolutely terrible, monstrous people. I can't believe that they ate animals and treated them so poorly. And yet, I wouldn't want any of those people to look back on us today and think that we were awful, terrible people without understanding the context of the society that we live in, where eating animal products is totally normal and natural and okay. Now that doesn't make it morally justifiable, but it also doesn't mean that people who eat animal products are bad people. We are all just people. We are all just trying to get by in life. And I think that if we had a little bit more compassion and understanding for people, and we were less likely to judge others for making mistakes without giving them an opportunity to make it right, we are just as bad as they are. Nobody is perfect. And it's not fair for any of us to say that somebody who did one thing in the past is evil and undeserving of our kindness and compassion and understanding and forgiveness. I mean, how many stories of mothers have you heard who forgave the murderers of their children? How much resilience and compassion and kindness must those mothers have in their hearts to be able to take such a huge step towards offering love to someone who did some, something so horrible, something so, so awful and unforgivable. That is the kindness and compassion that I want to express as a person. Those are the kinds of people that I want to be around. Now, it's not to say that because you practice kindness and compassion, you have to let people do whatever they want and that there's no accountability. I think that accountability is actually very, very important and I try to practice that in my everyday life and I encourage others to practice that as well. But unfortunately, people conflate accountability with demonization. They conflate accountability with hatred and bullying and condescension and being demeaning. How can we ask for the world to be a kinder, more just, more compassionate place when we're not practicing kindness and compassion and justice ourselves? When we're being vigilantes and canceling people with the smallest shreds of evidence and no understanding of context or time period or where that person is coming from, I have a friend who really changed my mind about the way that we look at people and whether or not people are good or bad people. And it was hard for me when he brought this topic up. I argued with him about it for really like almost an hour trying to find the holes in his argument, which was very simple. Can there really be good and bad people when we know that even the worst person in the world, if we had their same biology and their same life experiences, we would act exactly the same way that they do. Is there any inherent quality that sets us apart from anybody else other than our biology and our life experiences? If you transported yourself into someone else's body, you had their biology and you had their life experiences, what would set you apart? Would you be able to do anything different than what they did with their life? And the answer for me is no. 
There's nothing special about me. I am just a product of my body, my biological and genetic inheritance, and also the things that I've done and learned and experienced throughout my life. And that's a humbling thought. The things that set us apart from someone who is arguably terrible and does very bad things are so small and minute. They could happen to any of us. Any of us could have had a difference in genetics or one change in our life experience and be a totally different person. And for someone to recognize that what they did was unjust and wrong and to apologize and to make good on that apology and change their ways going forward, I think that should be enough to move on and practice forgiveness and give others the benefit of the doubt. It's time to cancel cancel culture and to start being kinder and more compassionate and more understanding.